Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Asim. I'm working as DevOps engineer. Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can set up the EKS cluster through Terraform. But this video is just not limited to provisioning of EKS cluster through Terraform. We need a lot of um, controllers to be installed um, regarding the EKS cluster setup, right? So in this demo, we are going to use a single command to set up all that. Uh, for instance, we need to install um, the AWS load balancer, uh, load balancer controller. We need to install the Carpenter, right? We need to set up the metric server. So we are going to set up all the stuff, right, with a single command. For that, we are going to use EKS blueprints. So guys, uh, in the past, I created the detailed videos regarding that. If you want to see those videos, you can see uh, those videos in detail regarding Carpenter, EGIS Blueprints, um, Time Kubernetes Cluster, all the stuff, Argo CD, and uh, you know everything uh, is there. But this video is just limited to a single command where we need all the stuff. For instance, we need to also add two groups, one group uh, for the administrator of EKS and one group is for the developer. So how we can set up all this to a single command. So guys, what I've done, I've created a repository for you guys, what you need to do, simply navigate to this repository and simply um, click this guy and download, the, uh, download this repository, right? So guys, uh, if I do ls, uh, this MNT is actually mounted on my uh, local um, directory, which is the sandbox, this guy. So once I download it, it's going to be available here, right? And this is where I need to go to apply all the stuff. So I'm going to show you what we are actually provisioning. So the single command is going to be this terraform in it and and terraform apply dash dash apply sorry uh, it should be apply dash dash auto dash approve right so this is the single command you need to do and i'm going to show you what we are actually provisioning uh, if you want to uh, set up the backend, so let me uh, start from here. What it does, it is going to provision all the stuff which we have discussed, and I'm not going to, you know, waste your time to, you know, um, just uh, looking this uh, guy provisioning. And I'm going to explain all the stuff. Till then, uh, it is going to uh, do the initialization of backend and installation so guys in this uh, demo we are going to use the local ban uh, backend but what you see i have actually commented out if you want to set up the s3 as a backend for your state file simply what you need to do create a bucket either from the cli or manually and simply uncomment this um, block right and uh, this is going to be then your backend so guys, what I've set up, these are the locals variable, right? So I'm going to provision the cluster version 1.25. If you want to do uh, or install any version, you can do that from here. This is the name of the cluster, right? And this is the custom VPC that I need to uh, deploy uh, before my VPC and uh, sorry, before my EKS cluster. And in that particular VPC, I'm going to provision my EKS cluster, right? So uh, this is the, the latest version of uh, managed module, VPC and EKS cluster, right? And I'm going to explain all the stuff here. So we are uh, actually going to create uh, some of the additional security group for our Carpenter. So as I discussed, this is not the video regarding the Carpenter. If you want to see detailed stuff regarding that, you can watch those particular videos, right? So uh, then we are going to uh, navigate to the other part. And the other part is uh, getting the creation of a security group, uh, again for Carpenter. So detail is available there. Then we are going to use the managed node groups. So uh, 
we are going to as i discussed in my previous video uh, in carpenter how we can save pause and how we can do a group less auto scaling so we are going to use on demand and also we have the option to provision spot instance so uh, but this demo i'm going to only provision the uh, i mean on demand but uh, along with that uh, we have the option to uh, like provision the spot instance as well and uh, we can then allow Carpenter to provision those instances if we have our uh, application which are stateless. So it, going, it is going to provision all the underlying compute resources according to those um, stateless application, right? So anyway, then as I discussed, as an administrator of the EKS cluster, you need to have uh, create two groups for the admins and for the developers. We want to give that developer access for instance uh, if the developer wants to see the live logs uh, you can provide the access and uh, regarding that uh, what nowadays uh, the latest fashion is using the lens which i have covered in my videos in past so you can simply uh, you can simply watch that particular video regarding the lens right so all the stuff is available here and uh, i covered all the stuff in detail and uh, video regard uh, regarding lens you can also find from this uh, like search bar simply type lens and definitely you see and this is the stuff which i covered regarding the lens so uh, let's see our cluster it is provisioning the stuff which we are actually discussing and we are pretty much uh, near to the end of uh, our video and uh, Okay, uh, guys, so uh, that was the uh, admin group. Then we are going to create the developer group as I discussed. Uh, so what you need to do, you do need to do once provision, uh, like use the Terraform. Simply what it does in the AWS account, if you navigate to here, and if you navigate to the IEM section, so simply um, click this guy or type in the search bar IEM. What it does, it is going to create two groups, uh, administrator, EKS cluster administrator, and uh, EKS developer. Simply, you need to add user in those particular, particular group, that's it. For definitely, you need to create a access key and secret keys uh, provide to uh, those users, right? And simply, uh, you see, if you click this guy, here you will see the two groups which are going to be available. So you simply you need to add those, right? So this is the stuff we are regarding that. Then guys, we are actually um, moving to our, okay, that is the part regarding the developer. So that's done, let it finish. And then we are going to um, provision some of the stuff regarding the Helm chart, which I discussed. For, insta for instance, uh, like um, we need to install the, Add zone stuff like as I discussed um, previously, we manually install the load balancer controller to Helm chart and all this stuff. Here we are using a single command to do all the installation like AWS load balancer controller, metric server, cluster auto scaler must be set to false if you want to use the Carpenter, which we are actually using, and we are using the latest version. I think uh, let me check uh, or might be this is the latest version. In fact, I have checked a few days ago. But anyway, guys, this is how you need to simply add the version which you want to install regarding the Carpenter. And uh, that is it. So this is the whole infrastructure which uh, you take time, which, which will take actually time to provision all this stuff. We can simply, uh, by using this module, uh, you can install that. And simply you need to understand uh, regarding the video what we are actually deploying here. That's why uh, I always recommend to watch my videos till end so you will have a better understanding, right? So guys, regarding the Carpenter and other stuff, ELB, Ingress Controller examples are available. So if you navigate to this, uh, some of the apps and deployment regarding the Carpenter uh, are actually available. So, okay. Uh, let me pause the video so once all the infrastructure is available i will be back with you guys shortly right 
So let me show you the stuff in the section where you will see the EC2 uh, on-demand uh, machines are going to be available. And let me also open the stuff regarding the EKS. So as uh, this is the US East one, uh, I mean US East one region. And simply what you need to do, if you type EKS here, simply click this guy, you will see the EKS cluster available here, click this guy. So uh, guys, uh, I will be back with you guys shortly once our infrastructure, which we have discussed is going to be available, right? Thank you. Uh, wait for it uh, to provision all the stuff. So guys, our infrastructure is completed simply, you see, by using a single command. So what uh, I can do and check if I do refresh here, you see the two groups has been created. One is regarding the admin and other is develop, uh, developer account, right? So simply you need to add the user as we discussed. And if I do refresh here, uh, I mean, uh, three C2 uh, on demand machines are available and simply navigate to cluster, you will see the version which we have actually uh, tried to provision is going to be available, right? Uh, okay, that is it guys. If you like the video, please like, uh, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much, have a nice day.